Hey, hello, and welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Herr Buda, and I'm so happy that you clicked on this video. And I want to thank everybody who's watching this video that are subscribing to my channel, that are pressing that, that notification bell, that are following me on Instagram, and yes, they are following me on TikTok. There are 40% that are subscribed to my channel, and I want to thank everybody, every single one. Yes, you. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. We are going to see today a video of Yaman. I, I think it's, or, or Laman Alieva. Oh my God. It's, I think my first video was also uh, a name that I couldn't pronounce. Um, is it Laman Alieva? I don't know. I don't know. Go to her channel, a young, uh, creator, not a lot of subscribers, so spread some love, go to her channel and follow this creator. And the title of this video is Cutting My Own Hair Impulsively. Quarantine haircut fail. Yes, a lot of people are in quarantine and in Belgium we are now in the middle of a very big second wave. In July we had the beginning of a second wave, but it was very small. It, it came down again, but now it's going up. It's really bad. Now all the restaurants and the bars are again closed uh, for four weeks, I think. So it's, I, my heart goes to everybody that has a restaurant or uh, a bar. At this point, as we record this video, the hair salons and the shops can still open, but if the numbers are going the wrong way, I don't know what will happen. Uh, so we have to make sure that everybody stays safe, everybody uh, taking the same healthy measurements, wash your hands, wearing a mask. Um, there are people that don't believe the mask and I don't care. I, I, I work nine or 10 hours in the salon with the mask and I hate it. I hate it. If there's just one percentage that I can make my family or my clients safe, I'm doing it. Let's keep everybody safe. If there's still people that don't believe in something, don't jeopardize the healthy of other people or your family. I just read uh, an article that an influencer that didn't believe in the COVID-19 pandemic, he didn't believe in, in, in the safety measurements and he died. So this is really bad. So don't underestimate the power of COVID-19, please. Enough of the COVID. I don't want to talk about it because I said it in the previous videos. I hate 2020, but okay, let's go. Let's do something uh, funny, I hope. And uh, let's take some minds away of the bad uh, coronavirus and have some entertainment. Let's go. Oh, this is a song. Oh, I'm sorry that I already paused the video and this is no tip. Well, maybe it's a tip. Uh, I don't know how many people of you are watching Casey Neistat. And this is one of my favorite YouTubers. And every time I hear such type of this is a, a song that has been used in a Casey Neistat video. And I love this creator. He's so... He's so a master in um, making this video and editing this video. There's always a story behind it. And the music, I love the music. It's called head bop or something, uh, the kind of music. But this reminds me of Casey Neistat. And he stopped vlogging uh, daily uh, because he was moving from New York to LA and he stopped family time. And now he started again uh, vlogging daily and Maybe a tip, if you don't know Casey Neistat, and many of you I know because he has 11 million subscribers, but Casey Neistat vibe here. I just like go snippy snip and just like cut all the hair off. 
because that's currently me basically i don't like how long my hair is it's very long right now and i don't think it suits my face shape so what we're going to be doing is we're going to use these scissors these pink scissors since i've had since like year four and i'm just going to cut my hair off also right now i have my bangs clipped back let me just like unclip my bangs I me mean, you know i'm kind of a little bit of an impulsive person so i actually cut these like bangs like i think a few months ago and ew, that's why I have these. I'm trying to grow them out now. I don't really love them. And I also cut like this little strip of hair as well. It's a vibe. It's a mood. I just cut my hair because you probably only came on this video to like see me mess up and fail. We're just gonna cut my hair. Okay. Okay. We're just gonna start with a little trim. <clears throat> it's just hair, right? Okay. You hear the hair screaming with the blunt knife, uh, scissor. This looks like a makeup brush. Okay, we found this side. Oh should I take it out or should I like chop this one first and then take, okay, I'm gonna chop this one. I don't wanna reveal yet because if I don't like it then. Okay, okay. The back will be longer okay, because it's okay, overprojected okay. to the front. Everybody knows it. Everybody's seen the fail videos. But you hear. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We have my beautiful water pair there. Okay, let's just cut it it feels super short. <laughs> okay, it looks short. straight? I hate this. I want it shorter. And it's not that uneven. No. To make this um a bit more precise, I'm gonna get like these instead of scrunchies because like scrunchies are good, but I don't think they're that precise. So I'm just gonna use like normal rubber bands. Um who let me do this? I literally nobody. Oh my gosh, okay. It's Take okay. it's at okay. least four tails, but now you are over prepared. The back will be in a V shape. So, I mean, I don't want it too much shorter. I'm actually shaking. Okay, um, I don't want it too much shorter. Oh, yeah, I think I did cut them a bit uneven. We're going to do that. The one is already higher than the other one. The one elastic is higher than the other one. Do I want to go the short? Am I sure? I can still go back. Your hair will be like a pyramid. Guys, I'm actually genuinely scared. Listen to the hair. I'm not mad. I'm, I'm happy. I'm not mad. This is super uneven. I Look at the back. It's... But... I'm not mad. Loki, I want to just go like even shorter. Okay, I probably shouldn't. I'm going to try to even this up. Let me cut this one. And then we'll try and even them both up. See, I like this one. I don't like this. Like if you're using a scissor that is not cutting good, like a kitchen scissor, you have to press really hard through your hair. She has really thick hair and she takes it just in two sections. So there's a lot of hair and you hear... And every time you, you press the scissors together, the hair is moving. You have to cut and it has to be all. Otherwise, your hair is moving up. And then on this side, we didn't see it, but the, it's a big chance that she moved up. And that's why you have a line that's going to the back. Always cutting the front longer. Why? Because you don't have hair here. You have hair in the back until here, but from here to here, you have no hair left. So that pops up. If that pops up, then if you cut a straight line, this line will go up. Then you have not a straight pony line, then you have a downwards line. So always cutting the front a little longer. So this pops up, 
and then you have a straight line. I hate a carré, it's a carré as in France, so a bob line that's going shorter in the front. That's so ugly. And many hairdressers make the same mistakes. Every time a new hairdresser comes in my salon, the first thing I give them a puppet, a mannequin, and then I said, cut a straight line. And every time they have or this diagonal line or they have a concave, a, a curve here because of the ear. So they have this concave. It's because they don't watch the natural fall of the hair, don't press it. And again, the shorter you go and you have thick hair, then you will create a pyramid because all the thickness of your hair is here. Let's see how she's going to fix it because if she wants to straighten this out, she will have to cut even more. Okay. You see the line? Um, am I supposed to now check if it's like even? I know it's not even. What have I done? Woo! Is it even? Nope. These are not the same lengths. No. Gonna... I really like this length. Okay, it's gonna grow in like a few weeks. It's okay. Um... Hair on my trousers. Okay, um... I don't want to keep going shorter and shorter. And there's like hair on my chest um from oh my gosh um what do i do go to a hairdresser what do i do go I, to a hairdresser I love, it. I love it so much i do love it i really do um but what do i do now go to a hairdresser like, what's the next step like and would take I your coat or suit this or should i just like keep vibing with it and like grow it out okay what we're gonna do? It's going to the hairdresser. Is this is so uneven? Yes. Low key, very no, not even low key, like high key, very uneven. I think what I'm gonna do, I don't want to do it myself. Like I'm really scared I'm gonna mess it up and it's gonna go really badly. So I'm not gonna do it by myself. I'm gonna get my mum trim it, I guess. Is she a hairdresser? Okay, I'm gonna show my mum. I'll ask her if she can like trim it up because this is like really not even, but she's pretty good at doing it evenly. So I'll ask her. Hopefully she can do it. And then I'll update you um, either tonight or tomorrow morning on how it looks, how it's turned out. I think it's very cute and I think it does suit my face, my face, my face, face, my face. I look so bad in the camera compared to what I look like in the mirror. Okay, I'm gonna go to my mum and ask her if she can trim it. <laughs> oh my god. Now, currently, the next day, and this is what I look like. So, the end result is pretty neat. Uh, I really love it. My mum managed to even it out as best as she could. I think she evened it out pretty well. I honestly think that this was such a good look for me, and comment below what you guys think. But I think this does really suit me. But yeah, I don't know if it maybe doesn't, and maybe it doesn't suit me. Maybe I'm just like lying to myself. I have no idea. So comment below what you guys think of it. But I think I really like it. Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Um, if any hairdresser person is watching this, I'm so sorry if I did this wrong. That's but, okay. Yeah, I think this turned out pretty good and. Yeah, I love you, have a good day, stay safe, and yeah, that's pretty much what I have to say. It was not that bad, but it was a little shorter, and luckily she stopped there because for her face, the length for her face now, it's okay, but going shorter, it's not okay because the face would come a little bit rounder. You saw, because there's a movement inside, you saw the pyramid coming up. So it's really massive volume here and none here. So you have a pyramid. So this is not so nice. Maybe cutting a little layers. So slide, sliding, 
uh, in the hair, uh, so it has a little less volume underneath and maybe in the front a little bit. The main thing is buy a good scissors. Don't take four, two sections if you have thick hair. Ask somebody in the beginning to cut your hair because you have to comb the hair straight down and cut it off. If you over project the hair, then you will have not a straight line and cut the front always longer. So these are my tips of this video. Did you like this video? Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, press that notification bell. You can follow me on Instagram. You can follow me on TikTok. All I'm going to say today is, ciao guys.